Hello friends. In the previous part we saw that some specific pairs of sides and angles of congruent triangles are enough instead of considering all three pairs. We call these as the side 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 or SSS test of congruency of triangles and side angle side or SAS test of congruency of triangles. Let us see some more tests of congruency of triangles. Last time we developed tests of congruency by using three pairs of sides or two pairs of sides and a pair of angles between them. Now, while beginning, we will take two pairs of angles and one pair of sides between them. So, we are going to ask the question that if two pairs of angles and a pair of sides in between them of two triangles are congruent, then will these two triangles be congruent? To answer this question, we have to think. If two angles and a pair of sides in between in a given triangle are known, then how many triangles can we draw and will they be congruent? Suppose we have to draw such a triangle whose two angles measure 60 degree and 50 degree and the length of side between these angles is 6 cm. Let us draw a line segment of length 6 cm. We have to draw angles of 60 degree and 50 degree at the two ends of this line segment. Using a protractor, make an angle of 60 degree at one end point of the line segment. Now, let us draw an angle of 50 degree from the second end point of the line segment. Now, are we able to form the triangle that we had in mind? Two angles of this triangle measure 60 degree and 50 degree and the side between them is of length 6 cm. Now, if we observe this figure carefully, then you will understand that if we would have drawn an angle of 50 degree at one end point of the line and the second angle of 60 degree at the second end point of the line, we would have got the following triangle. You will realize that this triangle is the mirror image of the previous triangle and so these two triangles are congruent. If we draw the two angles with the given measurements on the line segment measuring 6 cm on its lower side, then the triangle will look like this. Now, again you will realize that this triangle is the mirror image of the triangle drawn earlier. And so, this triangle is congruent to the first triangle. This means that if we know two angles and the side between them of a triangle, then by using them, if we draw any two triangles, they will be congruent. Great! We have now got another test of the congruence of triangles. Since we used two angles and side between them, we can say it as the angle side angle or ASA test. Now a question for you. Like the earlier example, if we know the measurement of the two angles and a side not between them, then how many different triangles can we draw? Will all these triangles be congruent? For answering this question, you should know the rule of the sum of all the three angles of a triangle. Let us see if you are able to answer this. Now, let us assume that we have to draw a right angled triangle whose hypotenuse and one side is known to us. Will you be able to say whether any two right angled triangles drawn with the help of the given information will be congruent? Think a little and then you will be able to answer this question. Shall I tell you how? We know that the triangle which we are drawing is a right angled triangle. Do you remember any theorem about the sides of a right angled triangle? The square of hypotenuse of a right angled triangle is equal to the sum of squares of its sides. So, by Pythagorean theorem, we can find the length of the remaining sides of the right angled triangle that we have to draw. So, we know the length of all the three sides of the triangle. Now, by using the SSS test of the congruency of triangles, any two such right angled triangles that we draw will be congruent. So, if two right angled triangles have the same length of hypotenuse and one side, they will be congruent. Have you understood this now? This is called the hypotenuse side test for right angled triangles. Please understand this properly that while developing this test, we used the SSS test and the Pythagorean theorem together 
and found out the answer. Challenge Just as we used three pairs of sides from two triangles and developed the SSS test, can we have AAA test for two triangles? Think about it. 